Alright, you know, wait, whose car is that? Next to Jeffrey's. And in between next, I actually have no clue. Let me continue bringing this drone down. I actually kind of want to get close. I want to look into like the, the windows here, see if I see anything. Right, let me bring this down real quick. Bring the drone a little forward. What are they, are they coming outside? We got, oh my god, dude! Why is everybody got throw, dude, why is everybody throwing six at my drone? Come on, Tippy, where are you going? Before we get into the vlog, I just want to say a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Traffic Puzzle. Now you might be asking, Jeff, what is Traffic Puzzle? Well, let me tell you. It's a match three revolution. The police need your help. An evil force has made a massive mess on the streets and there's only one person who can clear them, and that's you. Take your match three solving skills to the next level and combine them with your quick thinking to save the city. Features of the game include clearing the roads by matching three cars of the same color, assist police, fire trucks, and ambulances to get to their destinations, help helicopters and trains get through a block, make the city more beautiful by planting grass, and assure people aren't late for work by freeing up the tram. Now you might be thinking, Jeff, why should I play Trap Puzzle? And well, I'm gonna tell you why. It's a reinvention of the classic match three gameplay. It's a true puzzle. Pick your brain to remove cars and obstacles from the level in the most efficient way. It's based on skill, not luck. In other match three games, quite often, you don't know what will happen after your move. In Traffic Puzzle, though, you'll know for sure what will happen after your move. There's also competition against real users in leaderboards. And almost every day, there's an event with different gameplay mechanics. Today, you need to remove tires from streets. Tomorrow, you need to clear the airfield from the cars left unattended. I'm to be honest with you guys, I downloaded this game a few weeks ago and I absolutely do love it. I have literally played this game every single day since I downloaded it. And as you can see, it's right here on my phone. Thank you so much to Traffic Puzzle for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey yo, good morning Saxon family. How you guys all doing today? Hope you're on a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome to the first video of 2021. I know 2020 absolutely sucked, but guess what? It's 2021. It's a brand new year. Do what's going to make you happy and that will actually make your year the best year that you could possibly have. With that being said, I know it's been about three weeks since I last uploaded here on YouTube and well, there's actually a reason to that. As you guys saw in my last video, I flew a drone legit over McJuggernuggets, $1.2 million lake house in Pennsylvania and then he ended up calling me and was like, yo, why are you flying a drone over my house? Told him my situation and then, well, he gave me his blessing to actually go move into the rigid house. And well, here's the thing, as you guys know, I did get kicked out of my parents' house. I'm only allowed to live in my shed or my car, but then I could go inside for some reason to get work done, whether it's streaming, making videos, etc. I just can't sleep in my house. It's a weird reason. It basically because I didn't get my mom anything for Christmas. So because of that, I've been living in my shed and my car the last three weeks, which is kind of part of the reason why I haven't uploaded. There's just been so much that has happened in my life. So let me quickly catch you guys up to date. After I flew my drone over Jesse's house, I was going to go to the rigid house, but I noticed my car was having some issues. So I decided, you know what? Why not just drive it back to my hometown, park it in front of the house, just sleep in the shed. And then the very next day, I was going to go drive to the rigid house and well I had some car issues where the alternator in my car literally went it blew the serpentine belt into like shredded cheese and I had to wait to get my car fixed so at that point I could not live in my car anymore so I came back to the shed and basically at night I just take my little cot that you guys know I have and also a space heater and a blanket and legit I just sleep in the shed and I do have some of the best neighbors out here literally they lay eggs for me every single day is there any eggs actually in here today let's see Hey, they even got me some breakfast and protein, so that is good. What, you're saying I can't take eggs today? All right, looks like I got a whole entire army a little bit kind of mad at me here, so we're just going to pop this back down, and yeah. They, they, yeah, okay, I get it. You're going to go check on the eggs. They're absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. I won't take any more for the week. I, I got enough to get me through. So that's been my life in a nutshell for the last three weeks. And so today, because my car is finally fixed, we're gonna actually go take my drone and fly it over the rigid house. Without further ado, let's go to South Jersey. And also, by the way, drop a like on this video, subscribe, and turn on all notifications. I finally made it here to South Jersey. I found a park that's only a few miles away. Thank goodness today, I am actually using my DJI Phantom 4 Advanced drone. It's been a while since I broke this bad boy out, but the good thing is this drone, I believe, can fly up to six miles away. We're about three and a half. And on top of that, I know I'm a camera person. I'm a camera nerd. Uh, this drone can actually record at 4K, 60 frames per second. My Mavic, on the other hand, can only record at, I think, 4K, 30. So this is a whole 30 extra FPS that I really would like to actually use. So we're going to put this drone up. So that's a good thing. And the other good thing about this drone 
is uh, the controller, the remote, right? The cool thing is I won't actually lose a signal like I would with my Mavic. As you guys know in the past, I've lost signal. I've unfortunately crashed plenty of drones, which kind of sucks. But uh, majority of that always has to happen because I lose signal. We'll, we'll just put it at that. Not pilot error. It's because I lose signal. With this drone, though, hopefully we won't crash it. Hopefully we won't lose it. Hopefully we won't lose signal. But I think it's time to actually get everything set up and uh, put the drone in the air and fly over the rigid house. Okay, as you guys can see, uh, we're currently over the cornfield. I've been flying the drone for about like four minutes already. Uh, this drone moves a lot quicker, by the way, compared to my Mavic. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's a bigger drone, got a little bit more battery lifetime, and can handle a lot more power versus Mavic. Uh, as you guys see, this is the cornfield that I flew my drone over a few months ago. I think it was like August or September, and we caught that thing in the cornfield. Uh, the video will be up there if you guys want to go check that out after this video. But uh, as you guys can see, uh, this is what a cornfield looks like in the winter time when there's no corn in it. And I know when I say the name corn, people are going to be thinking about corn, not corn on the cob which usually is uh but hey there we go i can actually see the house finally now man i gotta say this house is like nice and secluded in the woods so i think like because obviously i'm gonna take jesse up on this offer i gotta say i'm gonna like the privacy here i see two pink cars in the back and also i see a couple cars in the driveway all right i can see nick's car I don't know whose car that is next to, is that Jeffrey's car? Who's got a red car? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right, you know, wait, whose car is that next to Jeffrey's? And in between Nick's, I actually have no clue. And then there's a red car, and I want to say the black car on the other side is Tippy, but let's kind of get a little bit lower and closer here to the house. Um aim this down a little bit I gotta say though this is a nice nice house like I don't know why the previous homeowners just wanted to put this thing up for sale like look at like you, you got a private like detached garage in the back right and I'm gonna bring my drone down a little bit lower here real quick but also on top of that you have this beautiful property right all this property you can do whatever you want whenever you want and this nice house. Uh, let me just mess with one of the settings here on the camera itself. Okay. Boom. Turn the drone around. Let's look. I see the tree house. That looks pretty nice. But let me actually start burning my drone down here. Let's kind of get a little close into it. Burning the drone down. It looks like somebody went and collected actually a lot of firewood. I wonder who's been uh, having fires in the backyard lately. Has it been like Tippy, Nick, Miguel? Or has Jeffrey been having fires? I gotta watch out for that tree. Note that there is a tree there. But yeah, they got a lot of firewood collected. Let me continue bringing this drone down. I actually kind of want to get close. I want to look into like the, the windows here, see if I see anything. You guys see anything in like, I think that's Nick's room, the middle room, yeah. It goes Miguel, Nick in the middle, and then Tippy. Let me know if you guys see anything right here. I mean, the room looks purple up there. Oh, wait. Oh, I see movement in the kitchen. Who is that, though? Right, let me bring this down real quick. Bring the drone a little forward. Operate with one hand real quick. Fix my glasses. Oh, look. There's Nick. Yo, ho hopefully they, they realize it's me with the drone. I don't know what he's saying right now. There's Miguel. I see Tippy sitting down. Okay, hold on. Let me... What are they... Are they coming outside? Oh, it would be cool if they come outside and they realize it's my drone. You know, hence like the old nickname, Swift UAV. And then from there... Um, yeah, so here comes Nick. They should realize it's me. Why? Why isn't it got his laptop? Yo, what is, guys? It's me. I wish they could hear me. I wish this like at a speaker where I could just talk to them. 
What's Nick doing on his laptop? That's the question. Yo, is he playing blackjack online? I know, like, he's kind of like me in that sense. He has an addictive personality, but... Wait, Miguel, put those six down. Let me fly around over here. Miguel, oh my god, dude! Why is everybody got throw- Dude, why is everybody throwing six at my drone? Tippy! Oh, that was close. Everybody always throws six- Oh, Miguel, I'm flying up. I'm getting out of here. Fly up. Every time I fly a drone somewhere, people always think it'd be funny just to throw six at it. Oh my god, that's a tree! Get up, get up, get up! I almost just crashed my drone. That would have been bad. You know what? Let me bring the drone back down. They're just staring at it right now. I feel like they're just taunting me and my drone. Let me just get a little bit low. Let me get lower here. Nick's out no six. Oh my god! Why do people always throw six at my drone? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know what? Let's just chase Tippy. Let's chase Tippy here. Come on, Tippy. Where are you going? Are you? Oh, you're going to the treehouse because I can't fly there. See? Smart. Smart, because it got all the sticks in the way of the tree branches, and then also knows I can't make it into there. Nick, what are you doing with that? No! My oh my gosh. Why do people throw stuff at my drone? That's what I want to know. That That is so obnoxious. What? Is, what's Miguel? Oh, Nick, he's really trying to... He's trying to knock my drone out of the air with his MacBook. I'm sure Jesse's going to be happy about that. What's Miguel doing? Oh, wait. Let me chase him. <laughs> Hold on. Let me keep flying. Look, look, look. Let's see. I, I gotta watch out for this tree right here. Oh, my gosh, dude. Miguel's got moves. Bro. All right, let me fly back this way. I don't want to crash. That would be bad. Oh, my God. That was another branch. Miguel just... Whoa! He legit almost hit my drone. Jesus. All right, Tippy's coming towards me right now with the drone. He's trying to chase my drone, but I'm going to chase them. Yep. Oh, on. Where, where's him and Miguel running? Where are you guys running? Okay. Well, I'm flying over here by the fire pit. Miguel's picking up another stick. Dude, put that stick down, Miguel. Miguel, put the stick down. Nick's got a camera now? Whoa, Jesus! They almost hit my drone again. All right, you know what? They're going inside. Okay, you know what? Let me bring my drone back up. And I'm going to fly my drone back uh back to me at this point i'm looking at the house are they gonna come out no all right i'm flying it backwards I almost hit the tree again because that's just been my luck so far um i'm gonna return my drone right now as you guys can see the beautiful look of the cornfield um give me a second and i'm gonna pick the camera back up your news is got the drone back in one piece didn't crash it today almost crashed it a few times which that would have sucked if I happened to crash this drone. Anyways, the sun is starting to set, so by the time I get to the house, it's going to be dark. Guys, I'm going to end the vlog here, and we're going to go to the rigid house. I'm going to let them know that Jesse told me that I can actually sleep there, live there, do whatever there. Um, wish me luck.